Given f of x and g of x are continuous functions with g of six equals negative eight, determine f of six if the limit of the sum of five times f of x and f of x times g of x as x approaches six equals negative 14. We will begin by applying the limit laws of limit properties to the limit on the left. Where the limit of a sum is equal to a sum of limits, meaning the limit on the left is equal to the limit of five times f of x as x approaches six plus the limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches six. And this is still equal to negative 14. Continuing to apply the limit property or limit loss to the left, the limit of five times f of x as x approaches six is equal to five times the limit of f of x as x approaches six plus the limit of a product is equal to a product of limits, meaning the limit of f of x times g of x as x approaches six is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches six times the limit of g of x as x approaches six. And again, this is still equal to negative 14. Now from here, because both f of x and g of x are continuous, we can determine the limits by performing direct substitution. Meaning on the left, five times the limit of f of x as x approaches six is equal to five times f of six plus the limit of f of x as x approaches six times the limit of g of x as x approaches six is equal to f of six times g of six. And we are given g of six equals negative eight. So now we'll substitute negative eight for g of six here which gives us five times f of six plus f of six times negative eight equals negative 14. Simplifying on the left again, we have five f of six and then plus negative eight times f of six or just minus eight f of six equals negative 14. Combining like terms on the left, five f of six minus eight f of six is equal to negative three f of six equals negative 14. And now we can finally determine f of six by dividing both sides by negative three. And we have f of six equals 14 thirds. I hope you found this helpful.